Hey guys, I'm back with another yet tutorial. Um, so in this tutorial, we're going to be using hair from a website, shopofficialgirl.com. This is the pre-plucked 613 frontal, and then these are the bundles. We're using three bundles to achieve this look. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do mermaid watercolor. Yes, who's excited? I know I am. Alright, so anyway, let's get into it. Um, this is just a really quick part of the video where I'm just making... The wig um this is a frontal wig i already have a video where i'm making a closure wig it's not too much different i just want to show you guys a little bit just of the process of me making it if anybody had questions or anything but the process is still normally the same okay so here we go we're using the colors baby blue and sweet mint for the watercolor so first we're going to start with the blue since it's going to be an ombre we're doing blue roots you just want to mix the color in this is um hot water and again i'm wearing my little kitchen cleaning gloves because i color hair and i bleach hair a lot and i like to just reuse these versus like like new gloves every time all right so this is the way completed we're going to dip in the top only you want to put the back into a bun making sure it's not going to touch the wick touch the water as well because you don't want your color to be mixed up and then you don't want like a blunt line at the top either where your hand is so we're just going to submerge the wig where the frontal is and then we're just going to bring the water up just to give it like a nice gradient effect from blue to green All right, so this is the first process. And also, you guys, just a um, quick tip. I wound up um, doing this the roots twice just because I wanted a, like, a real vibrant blue. So this is me doing it again in the hair. And again, you guys, if you guys want hair or wigs or make appointments with me, you could definitely book me. Um, the link is down below, Shop Official Girl. So check me out for bundles, your frontals. Okay, you want to do it as many times as you want for that color to be as vibrant as possible. Okay, so now that you're satisfied with your first color, you're just going to take the wig out. I just want to show you guys what it's looking like. So as you guys can see, that blue is really vibrant now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drain this water, and then we're going to start with fresh water. Now, I really want to talk about cleaning the sink after your first color, if you're going to do it in the same spot, because you don't want the blue to mix. As you guys can see right here, I'm just rinsing out all the blue in the sink to make sure the blue is not going to mix in with the green and change the actual color of the hair. Okay, so we're going in with our second color, which is Sweet Mint. And you're gonna just do the same process. Um, put the color in the water, hot water, distribute it with your hands, just mix it around, and then we're gonna dip the wig. And if anybody was wondering, I used two bottles of the baby blue and two bottles of the um the sweet mint. Okay, so now here we have the rest of the wig. So you're just gonna submerge the wig up into the blue line. So again, I'm only doing blue roots, so I just submerged and dumped the whole wig into the water. And as you guys can see, the water's already taking it. You want to move the hair around. You want to make sure that color is saturating every single piece of that hair. So don't just keep it in one spot. As y'all can see, I'm opening up the wig, dipping it again. Checking it. If it didn't get some sp spots, I open that place and I just dip it again. And you want to make sure you dip it until the line of the blue because that's how you're going to get a really nice gradient effect. And it's not going to look so harsh. Like you're going to, you want to avoid that harsh line. And also, again, guys, I did the green twice because Sweet Mint is really, like, 
it gave me a pot pastel look, but I wanted it to be more vibrant. So I just dipped it in again. Um, again, opening the wig, and there was still some spots in it. So what I just actually did was, as you guys can see right here, I just took some of the color and I just put it in the on top on top of the wig itself. Like any colors where it was dull at or anything, I just took it and put it right there. Yep, and that's what we're about to do now. So you guys can see me do it. So you see that little yellow spot right there? I just took it in my hands and I just painted it. And that just takes care of that. So that's just a little tip. Um, if you guys were struggling with watercolor or if you're still trying to get the technique down or anything, if you want like a full color and again the color is not taking it someplace and you can do that now we're going in with silicon mix i love this stuff it's a reconstructor and with watercolor you definitely just want to put conditioner on the hair you do not want to shampoo the hair and that's really it you guys i take the silicon mix i deep condition that i put it in the microwave for about two minutes so the hair can feel all nice and soft and slayed and also i love silicon mix because it's a reconstructive conditioner and then also it leaves the hair really soft and it has a great smell to it you guys so yeah any damage that the wig has would have went through during the curling process the conditioner just takes care of all of that. We're going to detangle the wig, let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes with the conditioner on it. And yeah, you guys, there you have it. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my business page, officialgirl.co. Shop officialgirl.com if you guys want bundles or anything, or if you want your own made wigs, or if you want me to color your wigs. And yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you.